One of the reasons that I'm at the University of Utah is because of the openness within the university to do interdisciplinary research. And many university structures, uh, it's very closed. You know, it's the, on, the physicists only talk to other physicists and the chemists only talk to other chemists. But here at the University of Utah, we've been able to, to move across those artificial um, boundaries and do a lot of multidisciplinary work. We have some of the best people in the world here in neurosurgery, in medical imaging, in computer science, and we have been able to work together to get the best uh, in these areas and create a team of people that uh, it, are able to really go beyond what is the current cutting edge. There are a lot of challenges in cancer. One is delivering the highest quality care. One is finding new ways to diagnose cancer early, treat it more effectively, cure it, prevent it. We focus on teamwork, bringing basic researchers into contact with more applied researchers, with clinicians who are doing the ultimate application of that technology, and the ability to design a building and structure the programs in it uh, has let us do things here that, that you, you could not do because of physical limitations in another setting. We've had tremendous support from the community here, a wonderful uh, philanthropy from leading uh, citizens of this community. One of the most exciting recent research areas that we've been working in is in applying our uh, visualization to medical imaging and surgical planning. Neurosurgeons at Primary Children's Hospital have successfully removed a brain tumor from a two and a half year old girl using a virtual reality hologram. Yeah, it's an amazing story. Prior a recent surgery. case involves a little girl who had a large tumor that was sitting on top of her spinal cord and uh, it was a very tricky operation. The, uh, the surgeons didn't exactly know how to approach uh, this particular operation and they wanted more information. My husband's a mechanical engineer and in March he had bought a company that dealt with holograms. And using this technology they needed a case study to show how this technology is so wonderful and how it's going to be so, you know, important to doctors and surgeons everywhere. Two days later, as I sat in a doctor's office, John was out of town, they said she had a brain tumor, a lesion. When I called my husband, of course their initial reaction was very difficult. But he called, he got on the phone quickly to all the people that he knew, and, and he said, we have a case study, and it's our daughter, and we're going to do everything we can to, to save her. So what we did was we got the data, and then two of my graduate students spent the entire night literally uh, processing the data and getting the uh, images ready for Jack Walker and uh, some other neurosurgeons and radiologists to, to look at. We loaded up all of the, uh, the images and visualizations and, and had them sit in front of the screen, uh, put on some stereo glasses, and they sat there for more than an hour looking at the different visualizations, the different images, um, basically being able to immerse themselves into these 3D complicated structures within the brain. So Dr. Walker was kind enough to put the surgery off um, a day and spend a whole day actually working on the process of pre-visualizing where he was going to go in and get the tumor. And he told us the morning of the surgery that it was his first night of sleep in 23 years of surgery, that he actually knew where he was going to go to get the tumor out. And so the, the goosebumps and the tears came for us because, you know, we'd actually aided him in, in being able to um, have a picture in his mind of where he was going to go to get the tumor. They went and did the surgery and it was a success. It was a very exciting time for us. I think that we're at the beginning of a golden age of being able to apply advanced computational science and computer science methods to these uh, medical applications, uh, not only for surgery, uh, but for diagnosis and treatment. And uh, I think that we're just going to start a golden age for uh, computational medicine. Oh, I'm still in the middle of the miracle. There isn't an end to the story. It's, we're in the middle of it right now. She's walking one floor while she's running. Um, she started preschool, and she wants to take ballet, like her big sister, and we'll start that next month. It's just phenomenal what we've seen. When we, what we saw a year ago, um, what could have been, we are extremely blessed because she's just thriving.